Farm Guy here with a new mod test for, well, not so much a test as a review of the uh, John Deere RTK stations on Farming Simulator 22. This is by Mr. Hector. 1.32 megabytes to download. It is a pack of three RTK stations in the John Deere brand. Um, 15 and $10 a day upkeep. And you're going to find these, not there, but under your construction menu and under tools. And here they are. Uh, we have three of them. We have a roof mounted, so that's what I've done up here. I've mounted one on the roof. So it allows you to do that. You don't have to override the, uh, let's, uh, let's just get our help window on here. There we go, help window, and go back into there because I want to show you that you don't need to do the, uh, roof mounted and um, I don't have the toggle free as a matter of fact toggle free mode is off as you can see on off it doesn't make any difference actually it's not going to give you a you can't put it here because it's meant to go on the roof so place it anywhere sixty two hundred dollars and two slots so there we go place one on the roof like so all right, so the next one is the wall mounted. <clears throat> and if we can get close enough, you can see that it has these little uh, brackets that show that they should go onto a wall. And if you go up to a building, this is just, and it, it kind of crawls up the side of the building as you go. So you can like, oh, let's put it like, like, oops, not quite there, there, so that it looks like it's, poking through the roof and it's still mounted on the sort of on the side right cool huh so that's uh that's also two slots and then of course you have the more traditional style uh whoops uh <laughs> traditional style whoops uh eight thousand or eighty eight hundred dollars and that's the standalone that just goes whoop it goes whoops <laughs> uh it goes anywhere on the ground however i think if you want to be sneaky uh, you can over override the toggle mode and just put it, plop it on. It would be like a giant uh, lightning rod if you wanted to. Now, that's pretty much it. Uh, this only works well. Okay, so I'm going to say this only works with precision farming, which I have installed on this map for this test. Well, it's not really a test. It's a demonstration. Not even a demonstration. Let's just call it hey this is what it is now I've done a fair bit of testing on these RTK stations and according to Giants it is uh, supposed to um, do help AI helpers to drive more precise and do their work faster I have not found that the case at least not in any significant or noticeable manner perhaps slightly a very very slightly more precise but uh, not necessarily faster not that I've could find out unless they've tweaked it or improved it um, the the results are debatable at least the ones that I've been uh, maybe someone else has tested it got better results than me but on console not so much so for me at least it's very much a decoration, um, but anyways, that's up to you whether you want to throw the eight, extra eight grand down just in case the workers might work more efficiently, perhaps. But either here nor there, that's the John Deere RTK stations by Mr. Hector, 1.32 megabytes to download, and uh, two, two, and four slots for the standalone one, at least for the first one. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.